Hi everybody, so this is uh, the first video. I'm going to do the basics of how to prep for hand sewing. And then that way, um, you know how to do this for the beginning before we get into any of the stitches. Like I said in class, I'm going to back this up all the way and presume that you don't know anything about sewing at all. And so some of this stuff might be information that you already know, but we're gonna back all the way up. Um, you may have bought a package of needles similar to this. This is just a, I mean, this is a round one. But the assorted pack of needles, um, what you wanna do for most of the hand sewing that you're wanting to do is to land in the medium range on this. Um, what happens sometimes is there's a tendency for beginning sewing students to pick up the biggest needle that they can with one of these giant needles um, like this. And you'll see, um, this is good for some things like upholstery and heavier fabrics, but needles are very much like um, if you purchase nails to put something together or um, other things like that where you're putting a hole in your fabric. This needle is going to put a giant hole in the fabric and it's gonna be kind of overkill for most of the sewing that we're going to be doing. So try not to use a bigger needle than you need. Having said that, if you get into these really small needles, um, the, you know, this is, I, I don't even know if I could thread this needle. The hole is so tiny. This is a very small needle. And so you don't wanna do that either right now. You wanna hit one of the ones that's sort of a medium size that you think is uh, pretty comfortable for you to be able to get it threaded. Um, so I've picked this one. This is probably slightly bigger than what I would normally use, but since I'm going to be demonstrating, I think it's probably a good idea for me to have kind of a bigger one. Um, thread. When you're hand sewing, there are two different ways that we can do this. We can do it with a single thread or with a double thread. The first stitches that I'm going to teach you, we want to use a single thread um, for the sewing. So I'm going to show you how to thread that first. And you want to get a length of thread. I usually measure out about the length of my forearm on it. It's maybe, you know, 12 to 18 inches. Um, you don't want to get too long of a thread. Um, your first instinct may be, well, if I use a longer thread, then I won't have to get a new one quite as quickly. But that um, actually, a lot of times if the thread's too long, it tends to knot up and you'll get a lot of knots and it'll make you mad, so just don't do it. Um, but I only have about 18 inches of thread here. And then what we wanna do is put the end of the thread through the needle. If you're having trouble doing that, um, sometimes the end of the thread gets fuzzy and it makes it harder to thread. So clip a little bit off of it and sharpen, sharpen that edge up. Um, we're gonna leave this loose and the needle's just kind of hanging out here, okay? And the needle's just kind of here. Um, we wanna take one end of the thread and put a knot in it. Now the idea is, is that the knot is gonna to have to be bigger than what the end of the needle is, otherwise it's not gonna work. The knot is there to keep the thread secure. And there are a couple different ways that you can make knots and thread. I'm gonna show you one way. Um, if you don't like this way or if you do it a different way, that's okay. I personally don't care how you make the knot in the thread as long as it holds. Um, and a lot of times people have different ways that they like to make them. I have students um, in here all the time who make their knots and thread different ways. What I do is called a balloon knot um, where I wrap, and basically it's the same idea as if you're tying a knot in a balloon, like a party balloon. Wrap the thread around my finger and put the thread through like that and make a knot. Now, um, my needle's big enough, I know that this is not a big enough knot still pretty small. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make one, another one on top of this. Um, there are ways to do knots that are different than this. Um, there is a way to do where you wrap the thread around the needle and pull it through. There's a way to do it um, where you 
uh, just kind of like wrap it around and like squish it together <laughs> and hope that it stays. There are a lot of different things. If you have trouble consistently, can't figure out how to make a knot in your thread, first of all, there are lots of videos that will show you different ways to do the knot. I find that this is easiest for the beginner sewers because most people know how to um, tie a balloon. You know, they understand that. Um, so that's the main thing you, we, we need to do for right now is that the needle, remember, is just loose here. The knot is at the one end. Um, and the way that we're gonna hold it is we're going to hold it so that the knotted end is a little bit longer and this short end, see, it's gonna stop. And that's what we're gonna do as we sew that short end is gonna work its way shorter and shorter until we eventually run out of thread. But that's the idea with that. Um, you'll also notice that I have contrasting thread. For our sewing samples, you do wanna use a thread that uh, contrasts with the fabric. So we can see your stitches and so that you can keep track of your stitches. If you're sewing on a real garment or on a costume, you wanna get thread that matches so that it disappears. Uh, but for learning the stitches, we want something that we can see. So I just grabbed a spool of thread from here. I think everybody's got, you know, um, beige fabric that they're working with, unless you're using something from home. So those are the two things. Um, but a lot of times there's confusion about how to thread the needle if you're doing a single thread. Remember that the needle here is, is loose and in can be moved. And the knot is at this one end, and we're gonna hold it this way while we sew. So that's the setup, and I will show you the running stitch in the next video.